We're ready to stand our ground and try, fight for what we believe is right. This is a scene at Montreal's McGill University. Dozens of tents have been erected on the school's property with protesters camping out and calling on post-secondary institutions to cut ties with Israeli companies that they say are contributing to war in the Middle East. Students have the right to protest and this is very peaceful. There have been no instances of violence. A demand that's also being made by student activists in the United States. We are here to stay. We will not give up. Um, we, we won't rest till you divest. Across the border, hundreds have so far been arrested for occupying campus property. And as the movement escalates, Ontario universities are bracing for similar demonstrations. U of T has fenced off the front lawn around King's College Circle with signs that read, these grounds are temporarily closed due to concerns of unauthorized activity. The university acknowledges that peaceful protests are central to campus and democratic life, but says there are limits. A letter went out to students on Friday stating U of T's lands and buildings are private property and that unauthorized activities such as encampments or the occupation of university buildings are considered trespassing. The University of Ottawa is taking a similar stance and the Prime Minister is also weighing in. Universities are places of uh, learning, they're places for freedom of expression, freedom of thought, freedom of ideas, but that only works if people feel safe on campus. Right now, right across the country, Jewish students do not feel safe. That's not right. McGill University has now asked for police assistance to help dismantle the days-long occupation. At this point, it does not appear any protests are planned at U of T. Shauna Hunt, City News.